press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Guys, welcome to Boot Kids Presents India Kids Summit 2020. I have with me the very dynamic lady, Ms. Shavita Bharadwaj. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being with us over here. You had a very productive conversation about building kids campaign. So, what would you like to say about that? And also, what is your takeaway from the conversation that you had? Um, okay. So, multiple, multiple things. I mean, there were so many stories coming out. So many beautiful marketing campaigns that were done. Uh, and we had a wonderful panel, you know, we had people from CPG, media, fashion and BFSI. So what else can you demand? Okay, so one where I'm taking back home is the stories that they kind of talked about, whether you look at the Fukre boy story, you look at the Pale G uh, or the Pale Poppin story, I mean, um, and the FPB, I mean, the fashion story or catching kids early. I mean, there's so many different ways in which you can engage, you can, um, you know, build stories with kids. And ma'am, this particular segment, the kids segment, the kids economy, it has seen a phenomenal growth in the last 10 years. I mean, you know, it was it was something which was not prevalent earlier, but this particular segment, this particular TG has been realized and people are right now focusing a lot more compared to what they used to do before. But what do you think has been the prime reason or the prime recognition factor behind which people started to recognize that, okay, this is a great market to capitalize, so we should work on it? I think, uh, I mean, the way we looked at it was kids pest a power. Okay, kids today are no longer the kids we used to be. Uh, they have maybe 50, maybe 100, I don't know. I mean, when I go back home, I know that I cannot preempt what my daughter is going to tell me. Okay, whether you look at the education sector, you look at the media sector, the kind of options they have for entertainment, the kind of choices they make, right? The fact of the matter is they influence, they have a view. And uh, like I was quoting the data, it's not just what they want to wear, but also they define what we should wear as parents, right? Uh, isn't that amazing? I mean, it's it's just that. I mean, I think marketers have realized their power. Also, it's important because um, if kids are watching adult content, and um, that would have a very different impact. So it's important to build content for kids, which is age appropriate, because that's the way we should bring up our kids. And I've heard a lot was being talked about the Indian stories and I still want um, you know my daughter to go back to Bharati Khoj but Bharati Khoj is not made for kids of that <laughs> that age right so I wish somebody would come back and create a Bharati Khoj for this generation and our kids learn a lot about it so it's absolutely the right space to be in where uh, kids are not watching adult content but they're watching a content that's meant for them as you mentioned rightly about the adult content, you know, this particular fear is something which a lot of parents have. Yeah. They feel that, okay, fine, technology is something which is good, it's progressive, but at the same time, too much of it can actually be hazardous for the children. Yeah. So what would be your message to the parents as well as the content creators and marketers who have the responsibility to ensure that the right equilibrium is maintained? Um, right? I mean, the whole village brings up a child, right? So that's exactly where the space is. It's the entire ecosystem. The school, the parents, the friends, the media. I think everybody has a responsibility. Um, so it's it's all of them coming together, understanding this challenge and taking that forward. Simple. And lastly, ma'am, before we wrap up, where do you see the kids' economy going in the next five years? Booming. It's like <laughs> going to just boom. Sky is the limit. There is no limit. Thank you so much, ma'am, for talking to Thank us you and so for much. sharing your wonderful insight. You. I hope you have a great time going forward. Yes. Thank you so much. Pleasure, Pleasure ma'am. Thank you so much.